What's up, Skrillers? It's Nerp here, and Donkey74 um, overtook me for number one on the ladder, and I'm going to try to take that back today by winning a rank match, and I'm going to be using his deck. Um, lately, I've been trying to mix it up from the constant aggro, which is probably the maybe the best deck of Skrillers right now, but something that is um, very high on the ladder is the K Order Control. A creation of Donkey 74 and he has used it a lot recently as as with a lot of other high ranked players have been using this kind of deck um, it is with the late game order craze recently and it doing really well uh, this deck kind of came out of it where it's similar to late game order it's a very late game deck it's a control deck and um, it is really strong a uh, big idea of dealing damage is with tempo thefts with harvesters, and there's also the tempo theft arbalester, which everybody knows about. Uh, it's really get halls of unloss combined with imperial resources means a lot of ramp. Uh, so I'm gonna see how this works out. I don't have much experience with this deck, so playing this uh, right now at such a high rating is a bit of a risk, but. I think we're going to be able to itch out a win. So I'll be back when a match is found. Alright, found a match. So let's head right into that. And it is against Action Hollick. So Action Hollick is a very good player. And to be honest, I don't have much experience with this deck. I don't think this is a great starting hand just because I don't think I want to have like Imperial Resources and Oblivion Seeker in my starting hand. I think I want like the Ramp Scrolls. Um, so I'm going to draw a new starting hand, and this I think is better. I'm going to get rid of the early damning curse. Actually, the early halls of Omasa. I think the idea is to... Whoop. Sorry, Action Holic, but <laughs> this is one of the only times I'm playing one of the Decay Order stall decks. Um... So I think the idea is to play my Kevin recruit, and then I'll get order from it. I'll have a languid, and this should be okay. I'll go ahead, and I want to keep my other stuff here. I'm just going to play the tethered recruit right now. I don't really know how to play this deck. All right. So I want to get to wild, start attacking for a spoon for wild, hopefully I get like vigor extraction soon. Um, why don't we, why don't we split ourselves on the board here? So uh, he's, alright he must be tempo order because, alright it seems like he's tempo order by what he's saying in chat so. Making sure I'm really threatening the whole board is really nice. But, hmm. Let's play that guy. And he's more Lake Game Order ish. Maybe Action Hawk has a more mid range order build. Okay. And he's going to take a bit of damage from that. I'm going to. Sacrifice the partisan for scrolls. Okay, so I can brain lice you next turn. Goody goody goody. Maybe I should have went for wild there, I don't know. But I don't really know what to do with my hand right now. Okay, this is Ducal Skirmisher. So now I'm going to go for the brain lice. Get rid of this early Imperial resource. I don't think I'll be playing that for a long time. I'll just pressure him a little bit. Alright. Not getting the infiltrates and bigger extractions that I want yet. But it doesn't look too bad so far. I'm a likely languid this guy. We'll see. I want to get a 
Okay, so he gets rid of that. I have some order now, but he uses Blessing Face just to kill that, so I don't really mind that. I'm just going to play this Partisan, draw a scroll, Arbalest here. I don't think now's the time for that. I'm just going to go for Wild and play an Aging Knight right in front of him. Let's see if I can make him waste a Blessing of Haste or a scroll just to kill that Aging Knight. Maybe I should have languished him last this turn. I don't know. Okay, moves towards the middle. Plays a gallant defender. Okay. I'm just going to Hmm. I'm gonna languid. I want to. Uh, I want to minimize the amount of idle damage I'm taking. But do I want to? I want to play the Oblivion Seeker this turn. I'm going to languid you. Righteous Partisan is good. I'm gonna get rid of this Kabonk. Oh no! I can't. I'm dumb. Oops. That was a mistake. I meant to play the, the Oblivion Seeker this turn. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that Languid and Kabonk weren't both in order. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to play this Righteous Partisan. Um, and sacrifice. Do I really want to get rid of the Temple Theft? I think I need these scrolls, though. I kind of want to go for more Decay here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to play you right in the middle here. Okay. He hasn't done much idle damage to me yet, so... I don't really need to use my creatures on the board to deal idle damage right now. And um, looking good resource wise, I'll get a lot more cards if he decides to kill this Oblivion Seeker. I'll probably end up infiltrating this Vanguard this turn. Um, yeah, he plays Righteous Partisan. So, I mean, his deck is interesting because it has these guys, Rose Part and Gallant Defender, which I guess can make an, can be made into any kind of deck because they're so awesome. Um, okay, so he is going all out to take down an idol. That might be the good play, but actually, I don't know if it's the best thing right now. I'm going to Languid you. Brain Lice. think I'm going to get rid of soul steel maybe I should save that I will infiltrate you I'm gonna start protecting my idols slightly more because he's tempo order so he's probably going to have decimations and stuff like that so I have to be slightly worried okay play something I can soul steal okay so I've already sacrificed one tempo theft one of the halls of Omelasa um, I have all three harvesters left two arbalesters left and I have a nice hand right now I think Okay. What the heck is Skype doing? Sorry, that's my Skype. 
for some reason I, I usually am on do not disturb on Skype I don't really care if people type to me but uh, I'm on do not disturb so it doesn't make notification sounds which works I, th I use it for that feature uh, but for some reason it like automatically makes me go unavailable like every few days I don't know when it happens or why it does okay plays another Vanguard Uh, hmm, I don't know here, I'm gonna deal 3 damage to you I think, so you can be soul stolen next turn, I kinda want a bigger extraction you, so I think I'm gonna get rid of the Oblivion Seeker as much as it pains me to do that, Tempo Theft Harvester, uh, he, I, we, this has armor, so I'm not gonna be able to do a whole lot there, I can kill some stuff though. Uh, if I Tempo Theft Harvester, then I can clear this whole row. Hmm. Should I do it? Should I save it? Yeah, let's Tempo Theft Harvester. Why not? So let's steal this guy's attack. So there we'll do that. And I'll protect the idols like so. And again, if I, I'm pretty safe in this match. See, this is how this kind of control deck works. I mean, sometimes you might get overrun by something like Temple Order or Aggro Growth, where you just can't defend your idols quick enough. But he didn't seem like he had the fastest start. I think I had a pretty good start. So there's not really much he can do at this point. He's not leaking water. We could just ramp up really high. Plays Ducal Skirmisher, which I might actually play Vigor Extraction and Infiltrate on. Uh, let's go like, let's go bonk. And now I'm going to go for some, I don't think we need to infiltrate, we have two bigger extractions. I'll just go for bigger extraction there. And move up, kind of like this. Okay. Yeah. This has worked out so far. Been getting a lot of high numbers of spectators in my ranked matches. I always tend to get a lot of number of spectators because it's easy to spectate me from the splash page where it has my name on the weekly winners every week. Um, almost every week and near the top of the ranked ladder. But especially since the Humble Bundle came out, like it came, it jumped from maybe max 10 spectators to max 20 or 30 spectators sometimes. Like the other day I got, had like a 30 spectators watching me in a high ranked match. So that was pretty cool. I haven't seen that in about like a year probably since that many people spectated me. Um, Wings Captain, that's not too scary. I guess I'll... Alright, he's just gonna surrender now. So, GG. WP. And that, I'm back to ranked 1, I think. And that is the power of Donkey 74's decay, order, stall, control deck kind of thing. There will be. You kind of get the idea. Like, I. It's really just. Infiltrates, Vicar Extractions. All these cantrip scrolls from both factions really slow the opponent down and they can't really hurt you that hard and you just get stuff up that, that can get you ramp like Tether Recruit and Oblivion Seeker, Righteous Partisan, and then start destroying their creatures with like Arbalestir, Harvester, Tempo Thefts. So that's how that works. Um, I think this is a pretty expensive deck to play though. There's a lot of expensive scrolls in here so it might not be. And it's also might be a more difficult deck for a beginner to play that's not really just play creatures and make them attack. 
So that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, Scrollers.